And today's viewpoint comes to us from an editorial from the Global Times. And it's basically a reaction to the eight uh, players that were disqualified from the badminton tournament in the Olympics. Now the story goes on to say that eight badminton players, four from South Korea, two from China, and another two from Indonesia, were disqualified from the London Olympic Games for their involvement in a match-fixing scandal in women's doubles matches the previous day. The Chinese pair involved was world double champions Wu Yang and Wang Xiaoli. You said in a media interview that they wanted to preserve energy for the knockout rounds. But some saw the real intention as avoiding potentially facing another Chinese pair until the final on Saturday. Now the editorial goes on to say that loopholes in the system were partly to blame for the farce, which angered spectators and sparked a debate over rules and sports ethics among China's public. Some defended the Chinese team by blaming the use of a round robin stage instead of a straight knockout tournament, claiming that it was not repulsible to apply strategy to increase the winning odds, while some were disappointed with the team's calculation of putting winning medals before performance. Match fixing seems to have been a long accepted phenomenon in badminton. Li Yongbao, who is the team's chief coach, admitted in a CCTV broadcast in 2008 that Chinese player Zhou Mi's loss to her Chinese rival Zhang Ning at the Athens Olympics had been arranged, since Zhang's performance and condition were much better than Zhou for the following rounds. The editorial goes on to say that the Chinese women's volleyball team also deliberately lost their matches against the Greek and South Korean teams in the group stages to avoid facing stronger rivals in the knockout rounds at the 2002 Women's Volleyball World Champions. They were widely criticized by the Chinese public and eventually had to make an apology. Now the editorial finishes off by saying that match fixing tramples on sports ethics and shouldn't be tolerated. Medals won by fixing matches are not welcomed by the Chinese public. Well, we actually took a poll on this exact topic, asking people what they think about what should be done to the athletes themselves. And 93% uh, of the people polled said that they should lodge an appeal. And it's not fair that the athletes are the only people that should be held uh, responsible and should be punished. 5% of the people polled said that the punishment is reasonable. And 2% of the people polled seem to be on the fence, saying that it is hard to say. And if you are interested in how people in China, both in the online community and on the streets, feel about the highs and lows of the London 2012 Olympic Games, be sure to tune into China Take, the show that tells you what people are really feeling and thinking here in China. And it's only on the Blue Ocean Network.